you know, it's really amazing to uh, see the absolute fiction being put out by both sides, left and right, of what's actually going on, and to see people just eating it up as if it was the truth, and even commenting on it as if it were the truth. It's uh, it's frustrating. I I put out these videos trying to illustrate what's going on and in contrast to what the mainstream media is doing and I still have people come to the videos and put comments about the crap that the mainstream media is talking about like this garbage with Flynn you know we can go here to, to Fox okay it's like who leaves okay they're worried about who's telling the truth who's who's counteracting their lies and CNN same thing we just had the vice president of one of the largest oil producers in the hemisphere be uh, banned from the country, and one of his uh, surrogates have hundreds of millions of dollars of assets seized by the government, but nobody's talking about it. And I put out a video on it, and I detail it, and people still come to my videos and put comments about Flynn. Like, this guy was ever going to make it anyway. I mean... It's just ironic that the Trump administration gets to talk about lies. I mean, and that somehow that's a problem. When we have this. Part of this campaign in 2014, he said, if I run for president, I will absolutely release my tax. <laughs> if I decide to run for office, I'll produce my tax returns, absolutely. He's broken his he first will. He's Okay, there's that. But are we surprised? More than six months ago, you pledged to support the Republican nominee, whoever that may be. A lot has changed since then. It sounded, when I was pressing Senator Cruz on it, sounded like he was saying he'd have a hard time supporting somebody who he, went he after his wife. Honestly, he doesn't have to support me. I'm not asking for support. Would, I, do I you want, do you I want continue, the people support. Do you he continue to pledge whoever the Republican want, nominee is? Uh, no, I don't anymore. Look, uh, you don't? No, we'll see who it is. I you won't promise to support the Republican nominee? And he was a saint. Okay, there you go. And of course, I covered this in another video, you know, where he made a big deal to sign this piece of paper, and then he went on CNN to renege on it. You know, and here he is again. I mean, this will be the third time. If I can get this thing to play. I am going to instruct my attorney general to get a special prosecutor to look into your situation, because there has never been so many lies, so much deception, there has never been anything like it, and we're going to have a special prosecutor. You know, it is, uh, it's just awfully good. You know, and of course, then, you know, then he tweeted. You know, and has he done a thing about it? No. So, you know, the man in his own words, I mean, lie after lie after lie after lie after lie. And then, of course, now he's upset that someone is actually leaking the truth about things. And this is the absolute nail in the coffin in his, for his supporters to not be following him because they agree with his politics. They're not following him because he's a Republican or following him because he's a conservative. This is God worship. This is religion. This is um, cultism, if that's even a word. But that's, that's I don't have a word for it, to be very truthful, because... To follow this guy now when he can demonstrably be shown, in his own words, to have been lying right through his teeth. You know, he also had this thing where he called for the release of the medical uh, records of him and Hillary Clinton. And I would have been all for that, to prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that he was a draft dodger. To show that there's absolutely no evidence of the medical condition that prohibited him from being drafted back in the 60s. I bet he wasn't even thinking about that at the time, but but he knew that, and like he said, he could walk out into the middle of 7th Avenue and shoot somebody and the people would still vote for him because it's cult worship. It's religion. So you can't, uh, to oppose this man and think you're going to get something done with marches, you know, or petitions, it's not going to work. You cannot go after the man this way. And if you continue to go after him that way, you're just going to feed right into his ego. You have to go after his supporters, and you have to go after them in a way 
where you don't confront them with argument. You just, you do the stuff like I did, like I said, with the strawberries and with the, the flowers and with the, the Nazi stickers, and you don't confront them to where they just are confronted with it someplace where they can't attack back. Because by the time they realize what's happened, you're long gone. And it can't go away for these people. And you have to continue to be pointing out this man's lies, his hypocrisy, and the thing that he's doing behind the scenes with the money. Folks, it is just insane. And I'm not trying to pick on my supporters here. I mean, God bless y'all for coming here, but you really have to watch getting caught up in the traps that the media is setting. Like, we'll go back to the thing where, you remember the the guy that got punched on camera, the, the Nazi? You know, and how everybody who opposed the guy didn't question it because they loved to see the guy punched. And everybody who was for the guy had the video of him, you know, being attacked by, you know, somebody from behind camera. So neither group of people wanted to look at the video critically and see that he was, you know, the whole thing was a setup. The same thing with this Flynn. It just changes the subject. And it keeps the subject off of things that are really important. You know, that he has, you know, Goldman Sachs bankers that are now running everything, running the show. You know, billionaire Betsy DeVos. I mean, the only thing that's been close to even remotely like a Republican is Jeff Sessions. But, you know, you look into Jeff Sessions' history, and, you know, it's very clear that he has as much in common with the Nazis as anybody. You know, and this judge, this pro-pedophile judge, Gorsuch, nobody's talking about that. When I showed you where you can go and look this up and, and see what it means. And, you know, from my point of view as a, as, a, as a video maker and trying to put things out there and see how few, you know, video hits I get, you know, based on the truth being reported, based on, not my opinion, I take everybody to right where they can find it for themselves. I mean, you don't hear me just talking about, you know, you know, I don't like Donald Trump because I think this or I think that or I think the other. You know, when I say something, I can actually prove it. I can show it in links that this is a fact of what's happened. This is the fact of what's happened. And, uh, you know, it is, it sometimes it gets really frustrating. So, but I do appreciate the support. I'm just uh, saying what I'm saying just so folks who are interested in the truth don't get sidetracked and don't get uh, distracted because the media is both sides, Fox and CNN, are going to play this game. You know, and... I will say this about CNN. They screwed the pooch. They really did. Because the hotel in Medellin was August of 2015. And NBC had that tape of Billy Bush. They could have gotten rid of Donald Trump back in the primaries. The Republican primaries, they could have. And they didn't. Because they had a problem with God worship of their own. Hillary Clinton, they thought for sure if they got Trump nominated that, you know, she would beat him. So... But it just goes to show they weren't worried about the truth then either. They had their own uh, agenda. So, all right, I'll turn off the rant here. But um, God bless y'all. Good luck. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, like, share, subscribe, and, and please do share. Um, the likes are great, but sharing is the only way that this is going to get out and people are going to start talking about this. So we will see you next time. Thank you.